Okay, in this video, I thought I had made a video showing how to do this, um, or going over this feature, but uh, but I can't seem to find one. <laughs> can't seem to find it. So I decided to make uh, to make this one. Okay, so in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to use the um, Marvelous Designer uh, feature, uh, prep preppers and stuff, and exporter uh, that was added to Maya Star 7.0. Um, actually, I think it was added to uh, Mayastar uh, 6.2, or, or the update for that. It was one of the features that was added to that. Um, but just in case you missed it, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So this will work with any avatar body that you have been successfully able to Mayastarize. So if you have a dev kit uh, in, of another body, and you want to get that body into Marvelous Designer to design clothes on, it would be the same process. You just have to Mayastar that, Mayastarize that body first. Um, uh, and so that the scripts will, will work. And you have to make sure that your body, uh, whatever body you're, you're going to be using in a dev kit, that the body is named body all uppercase like that and you have to make sure that there are hands and that there are feet and that they're named just hands and feet and that there's a head that is named with the like this is uppercase uh, h and then all lowercase ead but the names have to be exactly like you're seeing here okay so if you have a dev kit that has its own feet and you want to use that dev kit feet you got to make sure you rename the feet that you want to name uh, rename the feet that you want to use uh, feet like this and hands like that and bodies so you have to have those and you have to have a head okay now they don't actually have to be connected they can be separate mesh and they have to be separate meshes okay uh, they have to be separate meshes in order for the scripts that I wrote in order to recognize the mesh and to export them in the proper order. So, okay. So you have your dev kit body. You have everything labeled the way they're supposed to and renamed the way they're supposed to. And there, it's going to has to be the small avatar that you're seeing here. So it has to be all in the right scale. And then what you do, it's pretty simple. You come up here to Maya Star, and then you come here to uh, uh, Maya Star dev kit. Okay, it's going to be the same in Maya Star 6.2 as it is in Maya Star 7. And then you just come here and you click MD, that starts for Marvelous Designer Avatar Prep. Okay, now what that's going to do, it's going to scale up the avatar to the appropriate size for Marvelous Designer and the appropriate orientation. Okay, in Marvelous Designer, Y is up, you know, and Z is facing forward as Z gets larger, and as X gets larger, it's to the avatar's left, R right, avatar's left, and as X is getting smaller, that's to the avatar's right, R, R left, okay, and once you have the avatar in that position, uh, then you can, uh, where is it? Da, 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 da. I know it's here somewhere. There it is. Okay, now we can see the uh, avatar body. Now this is a standard T-pose, and if you wanted to export this out uh, as a T-pose, because uh, we're going to be exporting out OBJs, you then come back here to my Star Dev Kit, and you go export Marvelous Designer, and it's going to switch it. You, this should be switched to OBJ, and you want to turn off groups and points and materials because you don't need them. You can leave on smoothing and normals. Okay, and then we're just going to put here, and we're going to say T pose test, and you just hit enter, and it will export it out. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to select the the, those meshes, this is why we had to have the um, 
we had to have, I'm getting over a cold. I don't know if I've already mentioned that in this video, but I'm getting over a cold. Um, that's why we had to have these meshes named properly. And they have to be uh, selected in the right order. That's what the part of the, the script that I wrote is doing, is these can be separate meshes, but they have to be selected in the same order each time you export out. Okay, so um, that's why these have to have the the proper uh, names. Okay, now you could export this out manually if you wanted. If you had a dev kit that had the body and the head and the hands and the feet all one mesh, you could then just select that one mesh and export out an OBJ um, after you selected it. You know, let's just pretend this is all one mesh. You could then just select it and go export selection, OBJ, these that, and then name it, I'd name it whatever pose it was in and export out the OBJ. My script selects these in a certain order so that every OBJ will have the meshes in the same exact order um, because we're using separate meshes. Um, so if you wanted to do this manually and you didn't want to uh, come in here to do um, uh, export MD avatar, you could export it out manually. Just make sure that you select the meshes in the same exact order for your OBJs that are going to be in the different poses. Okay, I just did it this way because then it just does it. It just does it. Selects them all automatically and just makes it a little bit easier. Um, but if you want to do it manually and you have a mesh uh, a dev kit body and say that the hands are a part of the mesh um, but the feet are separate, just make sure that you're selecting them in the same order when you export out. You don't have to have a head if you don't want to, but many designers like having a head because if you're doing a high collar or a turtleneck, you really need to have an avatar head on your body that you're going to be making clothes for in Marvelous Designer. But if you don't want if you're not making anything around the neck, you don't have to have a head if you don't want to. Okay. So now we're going to put the avatar in different poses. Like say we're going to do an A pose, right? In A poses, arms are usually at negative at 45 degrees. But you can choose your own uh, angles if you want. So, but mostly A poses are in, the arms are in 45 degrees. And so we can just pump, put that in there. And, and I said, highly suggest doing OBJs instead of a DAE or anything like that. Because, yeah, if you do it as a DAE and you bring it into Marvelous Designer, you can rotate things in Marvelous Designer, but you'll never know what angle you rotated them in at. You know, they, you rotated them to. Um, so you end up... and So you end up with something that um, uh, you're not sure the angles of the arms and the legs. So it's hard, makes it sometimes impossible to get, when you're going to rig it, you need to have the avatar body in those same exact pose and, and joints at the same angle in order for your clothes to fit properly when you go to rig them to the, to the body. Um, now I can't remember, was that five? Yeah, that was five degrees. Okay, so this would be negative five. Okay, and so now I have another pose. And so I go here, dev kit, export. Like I said, this will be, instead of a T pose, it'll be A pose. Okay, so now I have two different OBJs. One is a T pose, one is an A pose. And now I'm going to start Marvelous Designer. Okay, so here we are in Marvelous Designer. This is Marvelous Designer 7. I uh, bought it off of Steam a long time ago. Um, uh, but I'm sure it's still the same process in newer versions of Marvelous Designer. So uh, we're going to go to File and we're going to Import. I wonder if you can open as Avatar. Uh, you can open as Avatar. Um, but I'm going to do import. 
import OBJ uh, T pose, and I'm going to say load as avatar. Uh, this is uh, Daz. Um, uh, I have it set to Daz, and I'm just leaving everything else uh, just the default, and I'm going to say OK. Okay, now here's the avatar, uh, and you can um, come in here and rotate these uh, to the proper positions um, if you want to. I'm going to say close. Uh, you know, you can rotate these and get it all set up, and then after you get these all, let's see, oh, there we go. It's, couldn't remember the, it's been so long, couldn't remember, the, so. You, know, you can rotate these so that they're all uh, properly aligned. Oh, I accidentally. You know, so you can do you do all this stuff of aligning everything where it's supposed to be. Let's see. You know, so you get everything lined up the where where it's supposed to be, right? Um, and uh, then once you have all that all set up, then you go file, save as avatar. Okay, um, and. Uh, this is, you know, it's it's public documents, marvelous designer. You know, yours might be different, um, but this is where uh, my avatars are stored. And I'll just say T pose for video. Okay. And um, then I can go file new. Oh, wait a minute. Cancel. We're going to remove, delete all avatars. And we can. Oh, I guess because we don't have anything in the scene yet. So, okay, then you can import another OBJ. And this is going to be the A pose. And we have all the same settings that we had there before. And you import it. And we can see here that these are actually nicely lined up to start with because this is just a standard T pose. And we'll say close. And then we will say file, save as, avatar. And instead of T pose, we'll say A pose. A pose. save. And now if we go to avatar, double click there, and it should show up in here. Uh, let's see, this is, we want T-Pose. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, T-Pose. Yeah, T pose for video. Okay. So if I were to, let's get rid of these so we don't have to look at those. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a quick little skirt. I'm going to pause the video because I want to show you. See, if you use OBJs in this way, you can switch between the two OBJs and your clothes will reshape. So I'm going to make a, a quick pair of pants. I'll, hold on. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I made a pair of pants, and now I want to switch poses. So here is the T pose for video. All I have to do is double click, and I want, you want to load as morph target, and you click OK. And you see, she goes into the other pose, and your clothes go along with it. 
you know. So, um, and if you had this open when you saved your avatar, it probably won't it won't show up here. You'll have to go to a different folder, double click, and then come back or double click on the avatar folder again um, uh, to to get it to come back. But that's how you can. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it again. So, um, a pose is in alphabetical order. No, that's not it. A pose for video. Okay, so that's it right there. So again, if I want to switch to different poses, I just double click. Load as morph target. You can change the number of counts if you want to have it move more slowly into uh, the position so that if you had a very complicated mesh clothing that you had and you wanted to, you know, to move more smoothly when it simulated it, uh, you could increase the, the more frame count. But I find the default 30 is just fine. And you just click. If I didn't have the clothes in the scene, it would just pop. It, it wouldn't morph to the different position. It would just jump immediately to the different position. So, um, uh, so this can become in very handy if you have different sizes or shapes. Uh, you can try to use this to reshape your clothes into uh, to fit different avatars and different avatar shapes. Uh, we're not locking you into uh, uh, using any one particular shape or body, um, you know. Uh, but just to give you those those different options, uh, the clothing reshaper in uh, uh, Maya Star 7 is a lot more convenient and handy and you might find that you have better results reshaping clothes that way uh, than, than coming in here to Marvelous Designer. You may not have Marvelous Designer. I know the company that makes Marvelous Designer makes another program, CLO or Chloe or whatever it's called. I don't know how similar it is to Marvelous Designer, um, but uh, let's go back to here. Um, but if, it, if you have another program like Chloe and you bring in the OBJ, if you're allowed to bring in the OBJ as an avatar like Marvelous Designer, if it comes in and it's in a different orientation, just figure out what orientation that is. Maybe Chloe is Z-Up. In that case, um, if Chloe is Z-Up, just click here on Groups and you can put this back to zero, back to upright. You know, or if it's a, the wrong size, you can try changing the scale uh, here. Um, you know, the scale was originally one, and that's how big the avatar was originally. Uh, and for uh, Marvelous Designer, the scale of 100, which is meter size, is best. But also, you know, but it's also Y up instead of Z up. Um, so, but anyway, that's how you can um, uh, export out, you know, either the Maya Star bodies or a dev kit body and use uh, these little scripts here that I wrote that are just uh, makes things go a little bit faster and easier so you don't have to think about it if you're using Marvelous Designer. So, anyway, so uh, I just thought I'd make this video and uh, show you how you can get uh, the bodies that you're working with into Marvelous Designer if you want to uh, use different bodies. Um, so awesome. Alrighty. Well, I hope that helps somebody out there and you have a great day.